The victims' families have waited and suffered for 37 years in their quest for answers. Raputamam Singh Malik was acquitted in the bombing of Air India Flight 182, but remained a divisive figure in the South Asian community. Now, with Malik's death, Deepak Kandelwal's faint hope for justice has dimmed even more. You know, his death, however it came by, does take a lot more of the secrets that he had uh, to the grave and which we will never know about. Kandelwal visits one of Air India's two Toronto memorials every year and thinks often of his two sisters, Chandra, who is 21, and Manju, just 19, and the promise of a future pharmacist and med student lost. I lost my wife of over 20 years. Dr. Bal Gupta appeared frequently during the Air India inquiry. It's an understatement to say that 37 years since the plane went down have been hard. It basically opens up the wounds of which had developed a little bit of a scar over time. He hasn't thought of Malik often, preferring instead the memory of his late wife, Ramwathi. But he says regardless what anybody thought of Malik, his murder is injustice. Even though Mr. Malik was a suspect, prime suspect in Air India tragedy, I have my sympathies for his children. His children are suffering the same feelings, grief, which I and my children felt when my wife was taken away by an act of terrorism. The Air India bombing has defined the lives of many of the survivors, and decades of court cases and inquiries have taken their toll. Kandelwal has the added burden of knowing he was supposed to be on that flight. You think about it every day. Uh, it never does go away. People always ask, is there closure? There never really is closure. And, you know, you get triggers like what happened yesterday that continue to kind of put your system in shock. She was the third year pharmacy student, U of S. He doesn't expect that. U of S, second year. To ever change.